Sound of barnyard animals, eternally appealing somehow. It's called chicken picking, and we're going to talk today about this little technique here. Now, you might think chicken picking, okay, it's like a party joke, but uh, actually there's more to it than that. Uh, it started out as, as an uh, uh, attempt to emulate the sound of the barnyard chicken, the clucking, but uh, we'll see that there are more applications to it. It actually turns into a pretty interesting way to add dynamics and personality to your phrasing. Now, uh, chicken picking is uh, outgrowth of the old school down home guitar playing style, uh, especially players that grew up in the South and in the electric era, grew up at the beginning of the electric era when they started out playing acoustic with finger style technique and then graduated to the electric and just never changed. So uh, players that use their bare hands got a different sound than players that would grew up playing with the flat pick. Now, in, in the modern era, if, if we want to call it that, uh, it's more common for players to use the flat pick. So what we do is we split the difference with hybrid picking, and hybrid is a combination of the flat pick plus the bare finger. So you get a little bit of both, and that's how we're going to approach this technique is using hybrid picking. So let me show you the basic uh, concept for how you get a note to sound like a chicken. I'm sure you've been wondering, and now this is it. This is your, your chance to find out. Okay, it's really a, a little muting uh, situation here. What I'm going to do is, is uh, fret any note, and in this case I'm going to fret D on the third string at the seventh fret. doesn't matter what finger or anything, just fret the note. Okay, now I press the note down, and in my right hand, my picking hand, I place the index, or, or sorry, the middle finger on the note, and I mute it. Now I could use my third finger, but I'm Either one works. I'm just, in this case, I'm going to use my middle finger. So I rest the finger on the string, just like that. Now I reach around with the pick, and I pluck the note while the finger is muting. And I'll give you a little angle here. All right, so I'm plucking and muting at the same time. Now, that's the first part of the lick. The second part of the lick is I use my middle finger and get the upstroke so I hear the actual note. So it goes like this. Mute, and then pluck. And again, giving you some angle. Right? So it's that combination of the muted note and, the, and the, the sounding the note that when you do it in combination like that, it creates this chicken-like effect. And you play around with the muting and so forth, and uh, that's, that's where it starts to come alive. Now, it really starts to take off when you combine it with uh, string bending. So let's go in the key of C here. And I'm playing up around the eighth fret area. And I'm going to bend a note on the third string. So I'm fretting it the same way. Third finger, I'm playing in this case F at the tenth fret. And I'm going to bend that F up a whole step. And as I do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use chicken picking technique and then release the note. And it sounds like this. Now what I'm doing there is I'm bending the note, and then I'm muting, plucking, muting again, plucking, releasing, and pulling off. And then that very last note there after the pull-up, kind of give it a little tug to give it that blue note. 